Now, when students come to using their understanding of algorithms and selection and iteration and um, so forth to solve a problem, they will generally need to use an application. Now, an application is a um, some sort of solution that has been written using a programming language. So it might be a game. It might be some instructions for a robot to complete a task. Essentially, anything that's not part of a computer's operating system or a programming language in itself is an application. Now, you would have heard of apps. Apps are small applications that are generally on mobile devices, like uh, mobile phones, that do a specific task. It might be to operate a camera and now you take photographs or to record your voice or to play music. These are specific applications for specific purposes. Now on a desktop computer you would have applications such as a word processor or a slideshow um, or some music player. There are a whole range of different applications and of course games are applications as well. So one of the things that students will do is create applications which are programs that solve problems. And to do that, they will use a programming language. Now, in the primary years, we tend to use simplified block-based programming languages, such as Scratch and Blockly, and a whole range of variations of these that have been developed for specific purposes, such as particular robotic kits, or um, say the Microbits will have its own particular programming language, and so forth. So there's lots of different um, specialized programming languages. All of them, though, use the same basic concepts. Um, sequencing, selection, iteration, and modularity. So once students learn and understand those basic concepts, they can generally apply them and use any programming language. Now, some of them will be a little bit more complex than others, but fundamentally, they will have all of the capabilities needed for the basic use of any programming language. Now, what you are going to be doing is um, going through some little tutorial activities to develop your own app and then submit that as evidence of you completing that activity. And in your workshop, you're going to be using another app, a, an app for creating drawings um, called Pencil Code. And you'll be learning about how to utilize that and exploring that. So you'll use a lot of apps and each of them involves some programming, but some of them more so than others. Some very simple programming languages um, that can create very simple apps don't require a lot of complexity at all, such as the pencil code one, which you'll be exploring. Others are much more complex, such as, say, Scratch, where you can be a lot more versatile in creating different solutions. But an app is simply the result of that. It's what you create with the programming language um, and can then run to do things.